Hello, I hope you're doing fine. I hope you're doing wonderful. I hope you're just going before I start. Please like if you like, share, subscribe. Please do it for me as I'm doing this for you. This is a presentation for goal technical analysis. I, I uploaded a video yesterday for TLT for it is the only thing you need to trade gold right now. Uh, I didn't have a lot of likes nor a lot of viewers, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to upload this video today because I promised a nice uh, follower that I will upload this video. All right. Okay. This is TLT. And I'm arguing here that in the past seven years, uh, TLT led gold 100% of the time. For it is very important if TLT goes up, deals go down. If deals go down, less pressure on gold and more likely gold would go up. The most smart, the smartest market is the bond market. No doubt about that. Those people are very professional, um, uh, economically driven, uh, behavioral finance driven uh, via risk aversion and go into a, a flight to safety, as they call it. So it is at my absolute guidance all the time, the bond market is. Okay, so uh, as I discussed in my previous video, how every time TLT clears uh, a resistance or a pattern or make a new high, 52 weeks high, gold follows. Uh, at that time, I'm talking about now from, uh, the pattern started in Jan 2015 and broke out uh, after after that Fed meeting in 15th of December 2015. At that time, the the rates uh, the the rates uh, hike cycle started, and, and the common wisdom is not to buy gold at that time. Yet TLT told us otherwise, and they broke out together, and they corrected a little bit briefly even though gold outperformed TLT here, and they broke out together here, and they consolidated together, and they broke down together, and they went down sideways together, and, uh, and, uh, and TLT broke out in 20th, 20th of May, and gold followed it in late May, to, I think 29th or 30th May, and they had a beautiful rally up to that blow off top and they topped together right here. Even though gold was stronger than TLT here, but it res they both result uh, resumed to their downside and they bottomed together. TLT outperformed gold here by making a lower low, uh, a higher low, yet gold made a, almost an equal low, double bottom and boom. And now TLT is screaming that it, it's going for, it, it definitely, uh, it hit. It is the best closing, weekly close since, since 2021, okay? And uh, it is, it will make the 52 week high at 155 something. It's the start of the year. They didn't even trade above that early early that week of 2021 jan okay so it is absolutely as i stated in my video i i really decided not to analyze gold at all this is it this is the real macaulay but oh well i'm gonna i'm gonna waste my time and your time and analyze gold if you analyze this this is enough enough this is the smartest market this is the smartest market gold market is it is it congested with, with the not very intelligent traders, not very intelligent gold um, uh, uh, portfolio managers. It is congested by, by inexperienced people. This is full of the creme de la creme, the best of the best, the cream, the, the cream of the crops right here. So this is enough. Okay, but I will do it for that gentleman that asked me for this video. This is the USD weekly, okay? And right here, I'm talking about uh, an ABC right here. And this is the retracement. 
what would we hit last week we hit uh, uh, uh Okay, we hit a 50% retracement from this high to this low. And this is really, really beautiful as a retracement. And also as a Fibonacci extension, ABC, this is 188% Fibonacci extension. It is absolutely a beautiful place for sellers. And that's what happened. Although also this is a price memory right here for a lot of people to sell in the past there's a a lot of memory in this area okay and also when it comes to when it comes to uh japanese candles this is a, a, a shooting star and a spinning top at the top this is scream and sell if you buy in this oh marona mia sacramento santa lucia what is wrong with you what is wrong with you if you don't have any any type of risk aversion? Just, just thesis. What is people? I, I don't know what to say. I, I get so emotional when people don't see the signs. It really upsets me sometimes because these people are portfolio managers too. Okay, so also it closed inside the bowl in Japan in the weekly, which is which makes uh, the mean reversion probability to the 20 week moving average at extreme and we're talking about 93.77 from from 96 something so this is really huge in the currency market okay so i talked about tlt in the weekly time frame and usd txy in the weekly time frame let me to look at gold even though i really don't think it's necessary at this point okay this is the moving averages, the simple moving average of the 20. Okay, let me do this bad boy right here. The 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 20, the 50, the 200, and 100 right here. Okay, and it's really rare for these for all of those uh, moving averages to converge together, and now they are almost in the crossover stage, which indicates. A, res a resumption of the uptrend it is extremely probable that we have a golden cross and an explosion of price action to the upside the the only uh, the only moving average that is not uptrending is the 10-day moving average even though this one is not uptrending but it's above the formation is extremely extremely good the formation even though it's downtrending now and also the 10 is downtrending but 100 50, 200 conversion for a bullish crossover that is rarely happens. Last time I checked this type of conversion and all the stuff was June 2005 and we know what happened after that. Okay, this is gold. And now I'm talking about the biggest uh, gold mining company in the world, Newmont Gold Mining Company. And it's also the fifth largest silver mining company in the world. If I am bullish on Newmont, I'm bullish on GTX, GTXJ, and all of the miner sector, gold mining sector. Okay, so what happened? What happened uh, last week? Things happen. So uh, I think a lot of panic, a lot, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of unexplained panic. There's no conspiracy. Nobody's conspired against. Nobody, no one is conspiring against against us. Stop feeling that way. Those people that sold here are panicky gold ma uh, fund managers. That is why uh, I'm screaming that uh, the, the gold gold is congested with a lot of dumb fund managers. Dumb. Now, they're not conspiring against us. They are just dumb. Okay. So the dumb fund managers sold here. And the smarters, smarter ones bought here. So uh, the first, th that's why I thought this is a good place for buyers because A, B, C, C is the full measure move, which is two. They call it two. It's full measure move from this high to this, from this A, B, C, okay? Even though it, it made a new 52-week um, high, low, sorry, and it came back with a beautiful, beautiful hammer, beautiful hammer with high high volume and we got rid of the the dumb money right here thank god 
dumb money. And, and don't, don't, oh God, that's okay. I'm, I'm, not, I'm getting emotional sometimes. So the dumb money sold here, the dumb money is the gold fund managers. Okay. So the dumb money sold here and we had this beautiful hammer uh, and we got rid of them because this is a washout sale, washout. We got rid of those dumb, I, I really hope their clients, I really do hope their clients take the money out, uh, away from them. I really do hope so. And I know they're going to say it's conspiracy and, and then the, the bullion bank is conspiring against them. I know that. And and shame on the clients to allow these, these, these people to, to manage their money. Who sold here? Dumb fund managers. Okay. So what happened? They're not really, they, 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 they didn't, they're not trying to accumulate. They're just dumb. Panicking dumb money. Okay. So so what happened? ABC. We 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 trade we trapped the bears right here. We made a new 52 uh, week low and it, it bounced back. This is a classic bear trap with beautiful beautiful uh rejection volume and uh and uh, and a hammer, uh, and uh, this uh, this Japanese candle formation call. It's one of the most reliable ones called Abandoned Baby Morning Star. This is extremely beautiful, and we got rid of the uh, uh, yeah we get rid of the fund managers right here. And now, uh, what the, what the Morning Star is telling us? It's not the absolute bottom. But it's it's gonna provide a lot of support. We might test uh, some lows here. It's very possible. But but in theory, this would be good support. We might have some more panicky uh, fund managers. It's it's okay. It's okay. So we're gonna live with them. We want to trade gold. We have to take it. Take the good and the bad. Okay. So uh, this is Newmont, and there's another one for Newmont. And uh, I think I posted this yesterday. No, yeah, yesterday, I guess. I think the bottom is the end by using gaps only. So we had the break breakaway gap right here and continuation gap, midway gap, and exhaustion gap that, pr that produced the abandoned baby morning star. And it's extremely, extremely beautiful. It came with the washout uh, selling too. The... Uh, the absolute desperation, which is really, really good uh, for for an absolute bottom, and no one knows the future. So I talked about this gap theory. Okay, another one with uh, w using uh, classic uh, patterns and also Bollinger Band. So I noticed after we made this uh, abandoned, uh, no, the first hammer, uh, we made uh, a broadening uh, bottom which is really, really good. It came with an absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, uh, positive divergence between the price action made lower low and the RSI made a higher low and it didn't even go to oversold, which in my own um, discovery, it always produces a, a, an absolute um, uh, bounce uh, like what happened here and here and also uh, shows accumulation. So the dum-dums, the fund managers sold and the smart money bought. That's what it means, okay. And also it closed inside the Bollinger Band, which puts the mean reversion trade at extreme. And at this level, the, the, the 20 day moving average is about 56.40. And once it stabilizes here, it puts uh, and closes above this maybe couple of trading days. It puts it at extreme to go to the upper end of the Bollinger Band. And uh, and this is the end of the presentation. Please, I'm really sorry if I get emotional, but uh, I really had a issue with people that always talk about conspiracy and conspiracy theories in general in the world. I, I get really... Uh, depressed and offended when I hear their views. So I'm really sorry if I got emotional. Please like if you like, share, subscribe, and remember that this goes for a ball!